Hello, you're back with Beetle, back on Survivor IO. Can the laser launcher be good? Let's find out. So just going to go into chapter 21. I am using the Void Power Excellent Plus to level 64. I have attached the Tech Part Excellent Plus 1 Annihilator, which makes the laser launcher slightly better, adds a bit of extra attack, plus 30, and slows enemies on hit. This video will be trying to get the laser launcher to actually do a decent amount of damage. So I'm going to jump into chapter 21, Volcano Foot. Let's see how we get on. First level up here, let's get the Molotov. It is still going to be a very tricky game. If chapter 20 is anything to go by it is actually going to be a bit of a struggle i'm not sure if i will even be able to complete this but what i wanted to do in this video let's just get the type b drone there is actually get the laser launcher and see how good it can be pretty much in all of the attempts that i have used it i've struggled to get over one percent of the damage from the laser launcher as the stages are getting harder enemies are getting a lot closer to me and i have had quite a few commenters say that the laser launcher can actually be quite good so i thought I'd, I'd do what i can in this video to actually see how good it can be and there it is fires lasers that deal high damage so sounds simple enough but there it is my sort of issue with it is that i, I just find it attacks quite slowly and obviously it is quite close range to you as well and all the sort of other weapons that i get generally are quicker in terms of the attack let's get the modular mine here i'll see if i can get one of the upgrades from the modular mine yeah i just tend to struggle with the laser launcher but this video I, i'm just going to do everything i can to actually try and get the most damage from that to see if i can actually up get that upgrade i'm going to get the type a drone here just so i can get the destroyer as opposed to upgrading the void power which i would like to do but uh, i just would prefer to try and get that sorted already i might actually get, even get the exo bracer here just so i can get the void power evo upgrade as soon as we get there as, as well as that obviously helps out the void power and a few of the other weapons that I've got already. Here we can actually finally upgrade the void power. Black hole damage doubled definitely helps out. And there's the laser launcher again. The levels are flying here. Laser damage doubled, so uh, obviously will will help out as well. All the sort of weapons upgrades that I get, I, I am going to try and focus everything that will help the laser launcher. So uh, this isn't necessarily about trying to complete chapter 21. If I do, that is a bonus, but it's just about trying to get the laser launcher as high a damage percent as possible. So here, the energy cube, all attack cooldown minus 8%. The laser launcher is a relatively slow firing weapon, so I'm gonna get that, that will speed it up. Here, I'm just gonna get the void power just to get a bit more safety in terms of having the black hole size doubled. A few gems have built up. I'll just see if I can get a level up or two. There it is, laser launcher. We're just gonna double the range here. Laser's range is doubled, so we'll, we'll get that to level three. Uh, I'm also looking for the HE fuel, I think, which uh, sort of increases the range of of the weapons as well that will help the laser launcher out and then we get it to level four adds more damage i think it won't actually be too helpful in the early game it'll only be once we get maybe even past the 10 minute mark when there's a sort of hordes of enemies on the screen you can't really move that's when the laser launcher might do damage well let's find out anyway that elite died relatively quickly to be fair on the lucky train we'll get the modular mine places one extra mine every little helps uh, obviously we're trying to get the inferno bomb i think it will be again uh, and then we'll have that extra slot back as well as when when the drones combine that will be helpful hopefully well, at least we've got the destroyer if you watched my previous video we actually really struggled towards the end hopefully this time with the laser launcher hopefully <laughs> doing a lot of damage let's get the modular mine there uh, as well as the destroyer and the inferno bomb we should be okay but i don't want to speak too quickly it is actually really tricky at the moment to get through the chapters so we need the laser launcher to actually pull something out the bag here so we've got the laser launcher instead of the drill and in my previous video on chapter 20 the drill was the number one in terms of damage in, in percent so it's got big shoes to fill but we'll see how it can do at the end zombies are incoming a lot running at me but relatively easy to be fair i will get the energy cube we'll upgrade the cooldown just as that would help the uh, laser launcher quite a bit as well uh, it's actually better than i thought the range is a lot bigger than i i remembered so maybe it isn't as bad as i thought i just can't seem to get it to do any damage but hopefully i mean i can actually see it killing quite a bit here uh, and obviously when there is more enemies on the screen it will do a lot more damage because the lasers have that sort of infinite pierce and they, they do do quite a bit of damage so it'll be interesting to see if we can uh, get it a high percent and how it will compare with the current weapons that we've got. Still need to try and get the passive upgrade that allows for the Evo of the laser launcher as well. Uh, I think that brings you into the matrix, so it says, but we'll get the Molotov here. And I think it's only level four, so we've still got a couple more levels before we can get the Evo of the laser launcher. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, loads of gems on the floors. I'd imagine I'm gonna be able to pick those up once I've killed this boss that dropped uh, a magnet. So well, not too far away from that. Next level up, I'm actually gonna get the HE fuel. So all ammo and weapon rage plus 10%. 
rather than the void power, which is painful to do, but that does actually increase the range of the laser launcher and even the drones, I suppose, once they're upgraded, that'll help us out in terms of survivability. But uh, realistically, as I say, we're just trying to get the laser launcher to do as much damage as possible. So an increased range should help with that. Here we go, boss assault. So in my previous video, obviously I used the kunai. If you haven't seen that, there it is. I'll just put it in the top right there for you. So bosses here are gonna be a bit harder, but bosses in my previous video were actually the easiest thing. It was the sort of mobs that were doing the most damage and nearly killing me so that's why i thought i would try out the void power in this one uh, bosses will take a bit more time to kill but i should feel a bit more safe in terms of the mobs but let, let's just see how we get on here there we go papillion goes down get the chest and the magnet once we actually get through the lucky train let's see what we get here only the molotov not to worry let's see if we get a level up or two from the magnet we will get the type b drone there molotov and that was it so let's continue on see if we can get a few more level ups and, and we'll get the uh, laser launcher upgraded that is the target now i've got the molotov to level five you can sort of see there's just not enough mobs to actually get the laser launcher to do much damage which is why i think it sometimes does struggle to, to get high upon them the damage percentage when you're comparing it against the other weapons i've got I am hoping once it does get a bit harder, let's just get the Type A drone upgraded there, that when there's a lot more enemies on the screen that the laser launcher will be able to hit a bit more and that will help boost its uh, sort of ranking in terms of the damage, but uh, I guess that's what we'll be finding out. There we go, laser launcher to level five. I'm not sure if we actually have the Evo upgrade that, or, or the passive that allows for the Evo upgrade for it yet. I still think we're yet to see that, to be honest. So I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that uh, in, when we get uh, the next level ups. Let's see if we get it. Oh, we maybe we do actually, death ray. We're in the matrix now. So there we go. Uh, so it's a bit of a different attack from when it is just the regular laser launcher it's uh, obviously a spiral that sort of goes inwards and i think it actually decreases the range because it sort of goes inwards rather than outwards so the enemies let's just get the type b drone there don't want the oil bond as i am trying to obviously get that inferno bomb so if that gets the evo upgrade then we're, we're struggling but there we go you can also see why i wanted the cooldown just because of how slow the attack actually is I would actually like to compare how the laser launcher does against the Evo upgrade for it. Let's get the void power here. As it looks like on the surface, this attacks a bit slower and the range is shorter. So maybe the laser launcher would actually do more damage. I'm not too sure, but I guess once there's loads of enemies on the screen, uh, because anything that is in range of that does actually die quite quickly. It's just the range, I guess that is sort of holding it back, but we will try and increase the range as well with the passive upgrades. Maybe also worth pointing out, this is obviously an open map. I'm not sure if the laser launcher would do better in a square map. That is actually my instinct when the enemies can actually be as spread out as they are here. The laser launcher may be better on a square map so if the laser launcher doesn't actually do too much damage in this run although looking at it it actually might i had a bit of hope for it let's get the molotov there as we can get the inferno bomb on the next upgrade i think i would also like to try it in a square map to see if it does do any better just killing this little elite here yeah that's the first time i've seen an enemy come out of the black hole once he was in it but second time he actually did die and we should be able to get this evo upgrade forget the name of it but there it is the gloom nova uh, it's actually the yeah, evo upgrade of my uh, void power which is uh, obviously incredibly strong i actually feel a lot safer with this uh, void power let's get the inferno bomb there than i did with the kunai in my previous video so even though this is an excellent plus two whereas the kunai is epic i do find that the void power is a better weapon in general obviously not for bosses but here we go boss assault this is obviously where the kunai would do better but uh, generally speaking it's the mobs that uh, have a higher chance of killing me i'm going to grab this magnet actually whilst i can i know the boss will drop one as well so let's just get this while we can and we can actually get the molotov as well as the inferno bomb and for me that's the strongest combination but whilst we can upgrade the HT -E fuel here just to make the laser launcher as strong as possible we will get that and we will get the uh, type a drone to get the missiles double type b drone why not this boss has a, a lot of hp so i'll just fast forward this bit for you There we go. He actually nearly killed me. I don't even see my health. That's how low my health is. But so I'll get that little bit of chicken leg once I've gone through the lucky train. I will get the Molotov upgraded. Meat and a magnet both coming in very handy, though we actually did 
I forgot we already had a magnet there, so no level up from that, but not the end of the world. Next level up here, though, I don't think the ammo thruster would affect the laser launcher, so I'm just going to continue on upgrading the Molotov, try and get as much fire on the screen as possible. I think that will actually be sort of a direct competitor to the laser launcher, as they're both similar range, but I think for the laser launcher now, to do a lot more damage, we're going to need more enemies on the screen. Usually after the 10 minute mark is when the enemies really get quite hectic and, and sort of fill up the screen and you can't really move. Haven't seen that so far in, in this chapter. We did on the previous one. I, I was sort of nearly dying for five minutes, but on this one it seems a bit more uh, relaxed. Not as many enemies just sort of wandering slowly at me, so I'm not too sure if this chapter gets easier compared to chapter 20 or if we're still sort of waiting to see the large amounts of enemies and here they're sort of starting to come through with a, an elite but i really like the void power just sort of is so much safer it seems although the elite is just about managing to get through but even then it just sort of uh, stays in place but get on the lucky train get the drone we must be very close to the destroyer there's so many upgrades i've got obviously we've got the inferno bomb then that merged level 34 get the drone okay so we just need one more level with the black drone before the destroyer loads of gems on the floor but the enemies are actually getting quite close to me we'll get the upgrade there for the drone so next upgrade we should be able to get the destroyer that'll definitely help with bosses and i think if we're using the void power rather than the kunai a destroyer is almost essential just to make sure that you can kill the bosses at least in a timely manner it's already slow enough but thankfully we do get the destroyer so hopefully for the final boss at the 15 minute mark the boss won't take as long but here we go enemies are getting close this is where i'm hoping the laser launcher actually does the damage which is why i thought i would do this chapter uh, rather than sort of an easy maybe a daily challenge or something where it's not quite as tricky i'm going to get the oil bond here so hopefully i can actually get the inferno bomb the molotov evo upgrade and we'll wait for uh, maybe the brick for our final weapon now that we have merged the drones lucky train here we'll get the molotov that's actually one away from an evo as well so level ups coming uh, quite fast now there's lots of gems on the floor but as you can see loads of enemies and i really do like that the void power i just feel a lot safer than i did with the kunai so maybe if i was doing that uh, sort of best weapon for an open chapter again i might actually say the, the void power although realistically i think the void power and the light chaser would be good for any map but here where i was struggling with the kunai when the enemies are getting this close to you you can just sort of stand close to the black hole that you're firing and there can always be a black hole on the screen so it just seems like quite an easy way to do a level uh, if you are struggling the void power just seems really overpowered i'm not sure how you're actually meant to die <laughs> to enemies with that the rpg could actually be quite a good one I, i'm you know i'm going to get the R in fact no i'm going to stick to the reason of the video i'm going to get the he fuel to increase the range of the laser launcher that is what we're doing here oh, wow that has actually increased that is quite wide now once that the he fuel is, is got higher so hopefully that will actually help me out quite a bit because i think the laser launcher when the, the enemies are attacked within the range of it is really strong it, it can do quite a lot of damage so i am actually very hopeful that the damage of the laser launch is actually going to be quite high i'd be i'd be quite disappointed if it isn't now here we go last 20 seconds if the laser launcher can't do damage here when i've pretty much just focused a whole video and chapter on trying to get it to do damage then i give up on it i won't ever be using it again <laughs> Uh, I've already used my refresh here. Let's just get the drill shot. I don't think any of them uh, would really matter too much when we're on the final boss. They're only going to be level one. Um, but that is pretty much it. That's all the damage that the laser launcher can do here. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be too great against the boss, which I don't think it's, it's meant to be. Although saying that, uh, if for this boss, it actually might be, especially if I get this HE fuel again, we'll increase the range of it again. And I can stand relatively close to this scorpion. It seems quite underwhelming. So hopefully the laser launcher can actually do damage to him. So uh, I'll, I'll try and do that and, and play so the laser launcher can do max damage just to sort of see out the final level final chapter i should say there we go how has it done moment of truth i'm actually surprised i did that chapter considering how hard chapter 20 was but i think the void power had something to do with that uh, let's have a look seven percent so realistically if we take the drill shot out as i got that about five seconds before the end it was still the worst inferno bomb at 50 percent is absolutely crazy that just sort of shows how strong the modular mine can be once it has evoed into the inferno bomb all the others relatively similar you know we got 15 percent molotov 70 percent destroyer 12 percent gloom nova but obviously that's more defensive as well and then only 7% on the death ray, even though everything we did was to focus on the death ray doing the damage. So I'm still not convinced it's a strong weapon. I do feel like if we had the drill shot from the start, upgraded that to the whistling arrow, it would have done a lot more than 7%. Same with the brick and same with pretty much any other weapon. So not convinced that the laser launcher is any good. Perhaps in a square stage though, and perhaps that is an idea for a future video. But in this case, I would
would still avoid the laser launcher. If you have got this far, you found it entertaining, informative, please do like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I will catch you all in the next one. Cheers.